Okay, let's do our warm ups and get me warmed up because it's freezing cold again here. So feet hip width apart, get those toes spreading out and evenly distribute your weight on your feet. Sitting bones down, ribs toward your spine and up with the shoulders back and down. Feel that lengthening through your whole spine. Reach your head up toward the ceiling. Draw an energy and awareness as you fill your lungs and as you exhale, empty the tension and any stress. And just keep that inner focus, breathing in and out as we practice. Inhale, arms to shoulder level, stretch those fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch to the front, shoulders down. Exhale, the hands behind you, clasp them and press them to the floor as you lift your heart and stretch your head back. Exhale, over. Move your chin around as you get down. Release your neck a little, bring your hands further towards your head, get those shoulders working. And just spread your toes deep and into that forward pivot as much as you'd like. Bend your knees, tuck in your chin, work your way back up and lift your heart. Shoulders down, head back, another nice little upper body back bend. Stretch your head out and your heart high. And then release up to mountain pose and take a moment focusing inward. And again, arms reaching out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and exhale behind you. Again, switch your fingers one position over as you lift your heart and press your head, hands down. And then pivot again into your forward position. Just as deep as you want to go, lift those sitting bones, get a stretch on your legs. Just move your neck, releasing any tension. And again, bending your knees slightly, start at the bottom of the spine as you wind all the way back up and stretch into your upper body back bend. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling that energy circulating through your spine. Shoulders back and down, bring one arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, no twisting on this. Lean to the side and get those ribs opening. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, or maybe up so you make sure you're not leaning forward. And then inhale back up, release that arm. Feel the difference, so let's do the other side. Arm out, palm up, hand above your shoulder. And again, stretch those hands apart as you lean to the side. Open the ribs, maximize with that foot down and the hand reaching away. And then inhale up and release your arm. Shoulders back and down a couple of times. And then stretch your spine apart, base of the skull, base of the spine to get those bones opening for our twist. Arms shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Stretch your spine apart and exhale to either side. Take a breath, and as you exhale, keep the weight on both feet coming over into your forward position. Breathe deep, lift your sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears. And again, on an inhalation, work your way up and lift your heart. Elbows back, shoulders down. Remember, upper body only for the back bend, especially in the twist. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around. Again, bring them back by your ears, stretch your spine apart, and twist in the other direction. A breath in, and exhale forward. Take a few moments and breathe. Lift your sitting bones, relax your shoulders. Keep the weight on both feet and work your way back up and again into that upper body back bend, lifting your heart, dropping your shoulders, elbows back. Take a few breaths, lengthening your spine. And then inhale on an inhalation, coming up and bring your arms to the top into extended length. Stretch high through your head, but down with your shoulders. 
And swan dive forward. So arms out at shoulder level. Stretch it out. Everything straight. Elbows, knees, and spine. And then drop into ragdoll. Just hang. Take a moment to breathe. Go in deeper with your hands behind your legs for that good back of your body stretch. And then bring your arms back to the center and one more roll up from the bottom all the way up and back into the mountain pose. Take a moment breathing. Feel your spine more activated. And let's warm up through the lower back. So step your feet together. Bend your knees toward but not beyond your toes. Hands above your knees. And no pressure, just positioning, letting those knees circle around toward your toes and around. And then after you feel those feet working and the knees and hips giving a little motion, stop and go the other direction with your circles. And just feel what's going on through that whole lower body. Feel especially through your feet. And then come back to the center. Find that spot out on the floor and lift your heels, coming onto the balls of your feet, the base of your toes. So breathe. Find your balance. See how you're doing today. Relax those shoulders. And then roll that and forth on your feet. Get your arches, ankles, and heels working. And up onto your toes one more time. And then coming back up and back into mountain pose, feet hip width apart. Clasp your arms behind your back or bring your fingertips up between your shoulder blades. Reverse prayer position, just keeping the shoulders stable. Bend your knees again toward your toes, big circles with those hips, getting that lower, that working even more. Take a breath. Let's really see you into it. Stop, go the other way. Just feel the hips, the legs, the knees, the shoulders. Keep them low and relaxed. And then back again into mountain pose. Turn your toes slightly out. We'll do our pelvic tilts. So it's going to get that lower back again a little bit more activated. So knees toward your toes, so that whole leg turns out. Bend the knees right above your toes, not beyond. Hands above your knees, keeping those shoulders right above your toes. Stretch your spine long and straight, and then sink into the back bend. So ribs come forward, sitting bones go back, and you look slightly to the front. So your whole spine goes into a nice back bend. And then tuck your sitting bones down and forward, pull those ribs in, look down toward the floor, getting into that forward bend. So inhale, back bend, chest forward, shoulders down, ribs down, heart down, and then pulling it all back in, crunching through that midsection a little bit as you go into the forward bend. And just a couple more times, back bending and forward bending. Inhaling and exhaling. And then on an inhalation, come on upright and back into mountain pose. Shoulders circling a couple of times and just breathe. And then hands on your lower shoulder blades, fingertips down toward your hips. Pull those elbows toward each other. Push the hips slightly forward. But not beyond your toes, look overhead, not lifting your chin too much so your whole spine is stretching into the back bend. Push your head away, lift your ribs, lift your heart. And then chin toward your chest, coming on back up and release. Just circle the shoulders a couple more times. And then we're going to put the thumbs in that hip crease, bend slightly forward, and then roll over to the side and look up toward the ceiling, lifting your heart, roll over to the other side and back to the center. In that same direction again, rolling it around, feeling your whole spine working. 
and then back to the center. And the other way. Lift your heart, looking up at the back, coming around to the front. And one more time, same direction. Just moving that whole spine around. And then inhale back into stand. Hands to your heart. Inhale, coming up, thumbs back, looking at your hands, lifting your heart. Exhale, hands to your heart. Pivot over on into ragdoll. Hands toward the floor. Slide the hands up under your knees, on your shins. Press in. Just gently, knees, elbows, and spine straight, stretching it halfway up. Exhale back down. Palms together, inhaling, and again, all the way toward the ceiling. Another little back bend, lifting your heart. Swan dive this time, arms out, palms toward the floor, pivot at your hips, stretch it out parallel to the floor, and drop into right dog. Pull in a little deeper, hands between your legs, pull in your forehead toward your knees, and then release your arms, bend your knees, and come all the way into child's pose. Transition to the floor and relax. Shoulders down, forehead down. Bring those knees together, get a good low back stretch. Take a breath again and relax. And then bring your arms out to the front toward the sides of the mat. Pivot up, slide your feet back, drop your hips, roll your whole body onto your belly, and bring your hands near you. Side, palms up, head to one side. Resting crocodile. Just relax. On an exhalation, turn your head to the other side. Remember, always evenly work your neck as we're on our bellies. So feet hip width apart. Bring your arms overhead. Shoulder width apart. Stretch it out. Stretch your feet back. We're going to bring the <clears throat> right leg up off the floor. Keep the hip bones both down. Stretch back through the right toes. And then bring your opposite arm up. So be, what is that? Left arm comes up. You can keep looking toward the floor. You can have your head slightly over, over it. And just stretch the fingertips and the toes away from each other. Give a good spine stretch. Exhale that hand and foot down. Relax, forehead toward the floor, and then bring your left leg up, stretch it back, hip bones down, and right arm coming up, stretch the fingers and toes away. Take a breath, stretch it out more. And again, exhale, hand and foot to the floor, forehead down. So we'll do both legs and hands together. So again, inhale, bringing those Feet up off the floor just a little bit. Stretch forward with your fingertips and bring the hands up off the floor. Head rising slightly as well. Keep looking at the floor. Don't crunch your neck. Just keep looking down. Stretch the fingers and the toes away. Get a good back bend as much as your back wants. Take a breath, maybe a little higher. And then exhale, hands and feet to the floor. Forehead all the way down. Bring your hands under your shoulders, press up and back into child's pose. So a nice forward bend, undoing all that back bending that we've been back bending into. <laughs> Take a breath, just relax. And then one more time, hands to the front, to the edges of the mat, pivot up. And roll your body again into resting crocodile. Just relax, head to one side. After a breath or two with those feet hip width apart, exhale, head to the opposite side. Shoulders relaxing down. Take a moment and breathe. Forehead toward the floor. Hands palm down near your thighs. And then inhale, bring your face Slightly to the front, the chin back toward your chest. Lift your chest, heart forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Bring your hands up off the floor and stretch them back toward your toes behind you. 
Take a moment and breathe. Lift your heart as much as you want. And then bring your toes deep up off the floor, knees if you can. Coming again into a little bit of a back bend through that lower back. Take a breath. Stretch the feet and the hands back behind you. Take a moment and breathe. Maybe go a little higher if you love it. And then feet down, hands down, and forehead back toward the floor. Take a moment there, just breathing. Exhale any tension. Relax your shoulders. Feet hip width apart. Just release any tightness in those hips and pelvis. And we're going to again bring the hands up, the head to the front slightly, but not too much. Chin back towards your chest, chest forward and up. Bring those feet up off the floor again into that last position we were in. Stretch it out, stretch the hands back. And then as you inhale, bring the hands around and toward the front, shoulder width apart. Stretch and lengthen again. Shoulders and shoulder blades toward your waist. Remember, don't bring that chin too far forward. Stretch through the neck. And then bring the hands back toward your sides. Lift a little higher, maybe, with the hands and the feet and the chest. And then exhale, feet and hands and head back to the mat. Take a moment and breathe. Then bring the hands under your shoulders. Again, now push back into child's pose. Make a breath. Just relax. Tension out. Feel your body getting a good forward bend through that lower back. And then inhale, coming up on your knees. So if you need to, you can fold your mat back and bring your knees onto that fold. And we're going to go into camel. So first, the supported version. Feet straight back or slightly toward each other. Hips right over your knees. Bring your hands onto your lower shoulder blades, fingertips down toward your hips. And just like we did when we were standing, bring those elbows toward each other and lift your heart slightly. Look toward the front. And then pushing your hips just slightly to keep them over the knees. Reach your head back further away from you as you press your hands into your lower back. So supported camel. Just allow your heart to rise, your head to reach back. Keep stretching through the neck, no crunching, and breathe. Take a moment. Exhale, any stress. And then chin slightly towards your chest. Release, bring your hands back to your sides as you come back into kneeling position. Take a moment as you get there, feeling that back. So we're going to start to our Camel position again with our hands on that lower back. So palms toward your back, fingertips down toward your hips, and elbows in toward each other. Again, hips stay right above your knees. Lift your heart. Look toward the ceiling just slightly, but remember, don't crunch your neck. Take a moment and breathe. And then tuck your toes under. So you'll probably still be on your toes, not the balls of your feet for this one. And we're just raising the heels. And then reach back for your heel with one hand. And then bring that hand back to your lower back. And reach for the other heel with your other hand. And then back supported. So if that was good, you can continue to do that. If that was easy, you can put your toes down flat to the floor. And then again, reach one hand to the heel and then back to your back and the other hand to your heel and back to your back. So if you loved that, we're going to go all the way into a full camel. So you can either leave your toes down or tuck them under to raise your heels. And we're going to bring the hands back onto the heels. Pushing the hips over the knees, lifting the heart and looking straight up. So you can either have your heels up or down going into your camel. Hips pushing forward, chest pushing up, head pushing back. But remember, the chin doesn't go too high. Take a breath. 
Do what's right for your body. If it gets too much, of course, bring your hands back to your back, elbows toward each other, and just go back into your supported version. That's perfectly good as a back bend. And then if your hands are still back, bring them back to your lower back. Tuck your chin slightly toward your chest. Exhale, hips back toward your heels. Hands next to you, palms up. And again, into child's pose. Take a moment and breathe. Get a good stretch where we were back bending. And just allow your whole body to soften and sink. Exhale, any tension. And then if you had your mat folded, unfold it. Inhale, sitting up, and bring your legs all the way to the end of the mat, coming into stack position. Press out through the bottoms of your feet. Core activated, shoulders relaxing down, crown reaching toward the ceiling. Feel that whole spine with that abdominal area supporting you as you slowly roll your body to the floor. Take a moment and breathe. Shoulders relaxing. Move your head side to side in reclined integration. Sitting bones toward your heels, press your back down, draw your heels in near your hips, and press that spine to the floor. Lift your right leg, cross the ankle over to the left knee. Put your right hand on the knee, press it away, and take your left hand behind your thigh or around your shin as a coat. Pick that left foot up off the floor. Pull it in while your other hand is pushing away. So a little hip work here. Just relax. Only as much or as little as you need. Breathing and relaxing. And then bring your foot to the floor. Straighten your legs straight up. Bend the knee back down. Heel near your sitting bones. Press the back down. Bring your left leg up. Cross that ankle toward the right knee. Left hand on the knee, right hand behind your thigh or around your shin. Pull it in while you push away with the other hand. Just relax into it. No need to stress or straighten. Just allow everything to go as deeply or gently as your body wants. Take a breath. And as you exhale, release your hands, foot to the floor. Straighten your left leg out, bend the knee, heel near your sitting bones. Bring your hands to T position, palms up or down, your choice. Time for our twist, press the back down, bring the knees right above your hips. Roll the knees to one side, turn your head toward the opposite side. Keep those shoulders down, you can have the hands palms up or down, whatever keeps those shoulders more connected to the floor. Middle back twist. Me going down, lower back twist. Remember, you can pad under if you need to for a gentle twist there. And turn your head only as much as your neck wants for that neck area twist. Looking toward that arm that's the opposite of your knee. Take a breath. Just relaxing. And of course, you'll want to hold these twists longer on your own, but for now, just bring your heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. Straighten out, bring your feet to the floor if you need to for that. And we're going to, of course, roll the knees to the opposite side. So knees right at hip level, coming down, head turning toward that arm now behind you. And shoulders and shoulder blades down to the floor as much as you can for that middle back twist. Take a breath. Knees coming as far as they want. Head turning as much as you need. And don't forget to keep breathing, relaxing into it. Exhaling and letting that whole spine release into your twist. Deep breaths, just releasing. And then again, hips, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. Feet to the floor, sliding out. And bringing your hands near your hips into corpse position. So go ahead and settle in for your final relaxation. Shoulders down. Move your 
Hips area around, getting settled through that lower back area. Lots of work there. Bring your toes toward each other slightly and then just let them relax. Feel that release through your legs, through your hips. Shoulders down, letting that whole heart area open. A little space under your back, letting your spine just release and relax naturally. Focus on your face. Let it soften, allow your whole body to grow heavy. And just sink deep into that surface beneath you. Let everything go. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out, empty lungs. Focus inward, drawing in energy and awareness. Exhaling stress and tension, let everything release. Feel that heart open, the body soften. Everything sink deeper into that earth support. And as you breathe deep, and allow your body to relax completely. Just allow thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. As those thoughts disappear, just allow your mind to release any new content as well. It's the job of your mind to keep producing those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, there's no, no need to remember the past or anticipate the future. There's no thought you need to hold on to. Just let them drift away as easily as your breath. Allowing your body to sink and your mind to float. And just let your awareness release both your body and your mind. Find that peace deep within. Just focus your awareness in the peace. Breathing in peace. Breathing out peace. Just being peace. Just take as much time in your relaxation as you are able to do so today. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room with your breath. As you breathe more deeply, just move your body gently, however feels right for you today. And when you're ready for your I know you have a heart of appreciation. Give yourself a good stretch. Press your sitting bones toward your heels, heels up toward your hips, and knees toward your butt. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, and roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.